48 hours, we'll have them aloft. Then whoosh, up, over, and whammo. Parkinson, chemical warfare. Amberley, hydrogen armament. Mills, germ warfare research. Sturka, hydrogen armament. Hold the light, will you, Sturka? Long days, huh? Mm -hmm. Long days. Your department's going full blast, isn't it? It's coming, boy. It's really coming, and a big one, too. While we're talking here, I bet the military's getting all set. Got it all mapped out, I bet. Talk is 48 hours. You wait and see if I'm not right. 48 hours, we'll have them aloft. Then whoosh, up, over, and whammo. There goes the enemy. Obliterated, finished. But well, what are they doing in the meantime? What do you mean, what are they doing? Probably retaliating the best way they can. <laughs> it's a big waste of time, let me tell you. We get the first licks, so they can't do much. You can go whoosh, up, over, and whammo. Absolutely. But not so many. Not so properly aimed. Not so skillfully carried out. So instead of losing 50 million people, we lose only 35, hmm? You a defeatist, Sturka? That's dangerous thinking. You better mind what you say. And what I think, too, hmm? Yeah. And what you think. Good night, Carling. I'll see you tomorrow. Quitting time at the plant. Time for supper now. Time for families. Time for a cool drink on a porch. Time for the quiet rustle of leaf-laden trees that screen out the moon. And underneath it all, behind the eyes of the men, hanging invisible over the summer night, is a horror without words. For this is the stillness before storm. This is the eve of the end. because they make themselves afraid. They're afraid because they subvert every great thing ever discovered, every fine idea ever thought, every marvelous invention ever conceived. They subvert it, Jody. They, they make it crooked and devious. And too late, far too late, they ask themselves the question, why? And then it's too late. Everything is too late. Invite Jerry Ryden and his wife over tonight, will you, Eve? We'll have some cards or something. Where? Bill. I just thought you might like to have some cards tonight, that's all. I thought it might take your mind off things. What do you feel is happening? Thank you very much. 
16. Four. some lemonade and homemade cake, everyone. Hot night, too. Huh? This is a night for a front porch or sleep. But nothing else. All right, you are. We'll be leaving in a couple of minutes. I've been up north testing an aircraft. I haven't had much sleep the last couple of weeks. As I, I know the aircraft. They say it's capable of leaving our atmosphere. Talk is it could go to another planet if the right man flew her. Well, not for a while yet. Needs a lot more testing. Oh. May I have a cigarette? The way I figure it, Mr. Sturka, you owe Ann and me a little money here. Marvelous scientist. Very bad card player. Oh, I wouldn't believe that. I would have guessed the Sturka here was a good gambler. I'd have guessed he'd gamble on most anything. Here we are. Lemonade, everyone? I'll cut the cake here. Hey, you. You're a little nervous, Mrs. Sturka. You're very nervous. We won't settle tonight. Uh, uh, next week. Next week, we'll give you another chance. Next week? You do plan ahead. You plan way ahead. A week? A lot can happen in a week. A lot can happen in 48 hours. Well, I'll get on home now. I like to take a walk on warm evenings. Makes me sleep better. I'll see you at the door, Mr. Conway. Thank you. And well, I'll probably see you at the office tomorrow. Yes, of course. Pretty night. Clear as a bell, nothing but stars. You ever think, Sturka, that there may be people on those stars, too? Maybe people just like us. That thought has crossed my mind. Ever think maybe you'd be happier on one of those than you are here? Well, that thought has crossed my mind, too. Yeah. Yeah, I have no doubt. Time is now. We aren't ever coming back here again.
contact? Yeah, that's him. Eve, flash the lights just once. third planet from the sun, Bill. It's called Earth. That's where we're going. To a place called Earth. Behind a tiny ship heading into space is a doomed planet on the verge of suicide. Ahead lies a place called Earth. The third planet from the sun. And for William Sturker and the men and women with him, it's the eve of the beginning in the twilight zone. Forty-eight hours we'll have them aloft. Then whoosh, up, over, and whammo. <laughs> 